Hi, my lovelies. It's your girl, Locked in Lettos. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. Give me some love. I love to hear from you. As you know, I am in this for the love of all things beauty and beautiful. So what are we getting into today? Well, honey, we are about to get into this retwist. We're about to actually make some organic flaxseed gel. I actually washed and retwisted my hair using the organic flaxseed gel. So if you are interested in learning how I achieved this look, stay tuned. So we are going to make some flaxseed gel for my lock retwist. So in order to make the flaxseed gel, you need a few things. Number one, first and foremost, you need flaxseed. So I got uh, Wegmans organic flaxseeds. I got 12 ounces um, and this is probably gonna last me forever. <laughs> In addition to the flax seeds, I also have some um, organic raw honey that actually, from what I understand, will actually add a bit of hold to the flaxseed gel. So flaxseed gel, in and of itself is not a strong strong hold um, however um, the as I understand it the organic raw honey will actually add a bit of hold to it and flaxseed gel smells kind of like cereal so um, adding some honey to your cereal is always a good thing in addition to my uh, flax seeds and my honey I also have a measuring cup because I will need one quarter cup of flax seeds. And then I also have a little jar. This is not the jar that I'm going to finish off with, but it is the jar that I'm going to be straining my flaxseed gel into. So I'm going to strain my flaxseed gel. I have a little jar and then I also have a, um, a leg, a leg, a foot of a pair of pantyhose and I just have that draped over the jar. These are ultra sheer. This is my third attempt at the flaxseed gel. Um, the first attempt was too thick. I think the second attempt was too thin. So I'm hoping that this third attempt will be just right. So um, a quarter a cup of flax seeds. I will need two and a half cups of water. I have a two cup measuring cup with actually just over um, the two cup mark. So about two and a half cups filled up of water. So I am going to go ahead and open up my flax seeds and I'm going to just dip in and measure out a quarter of a cup of flax seeds and add those to my pot. I am then going to add my two and a half cups of water to my pot. And then I am going to turn my heat on. Recipes say to use some um, a wooden spoon. However, I am actually going to use a rubber spatula. And I'm just going to allow my flaxseed and water to boil 
some of the flax seeds will initially float to the top. The rest of them will kind of just uh, remain on the bottom. The idea in boiling them is to actually get them to open up and release um, whatever is inside. I don't know what it is, uh, but it creates the gel itself. So we're just gonna let that boil and we'll see. to pull for just a bit. I feel like it's thick enough. I'm hoping. I think it's thicker than it was, but thinner than it was the first time, thinner than it was the first time, and thicker than it was the second time. So let's, here's hoping this time I've got it right. The first time I couldn't even strain it through the knee-high stocking that I had. Um, the second time I was able to strain it, but it was quite watery. And so when I was thinking about using it, it, it that looks like a good consistency. I'm hoping that it retains that sort of consistency. Let's I'll go ahead and just slather this on my on my hair. So that's the cool thing is that I so I just ran that through my hair, right? And it left my hand not sticky at all. There's no sticky, there's no residue. Oh wait, there's some extra gel left on my hands, but um, so I don't think this is a gel that you can run through your run through your locks, but I personally feel like no, again, it's worth a try. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit so that it's not so hot that it doesn't melt 
the stockings because stockings, pantyhose, as you know, are nylon and polyester synthetic materials that quite easily could. Um, this is really nice and clear. I like that. But uh, synthetic materials that if you put it against something too hot, it would likely melt. So I'm just going to let this cool down a bit and we'll come back to strain it. And we're back. So we've let the flaxseed gel cool a bit. So it's cool enough that I can actually take it now. And I am going to just pour it and hope that it doesn't like explode. I guess I could have poured it the other way. Whatever. I'm, I'm pouring it into the pot. I mean, into the, what do you call it? You saw me pouring. I was pouring and trying not to, to, what do you call it? To hurt myself. So it is still warm. You saw a little bit of the steam um, come off of it. And I am just going to take my tongs and hopefully strain. No, I'm not going to strain because the gel is too thick for crying out loud. I cannot win for losing on this. I just had to get in here with my hands because the gel is, is really thick. And the only way to squeeze it through the pantyhose is to squeeze it with my hands. I hope I'm, I'm now making a big old gigantic mess. see the gel is a good consistency I feel I am going to go ahead I'm, I'm done I'm done I'm done squeezing I'm gonna get a um, I'm gonna get the remainder of my gel in here off my counter and then hold on I'm gonna wash my hands and again, the gel literally just rinses clean off. Like it is, I could see where this would have no buildup, like none whatsoever, no buildup at all. Because, and, 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 
plate. So no buildup. And my hands after that are really soft. Hey, like really soft. Hold on. Like, like, ooh, my hands are soft, soft. Like, that's nice. That's nice. So final step is I am going to take some of this raw organic honey and we're gonna take just a regular teaspoon not an actual measuring teaspoon and I'm just gonna go in with a and scoop out a good chunk you can see where this would nicely hold going to just drop that into flaxseed gel and lift my hands off I'm gonna take my spatula hopefully this is warm enough to break down this honey I tried not to let it cool too much But we're gonna yep it's breaking down the honey quite nicely melting that nicely melting that up we're gonna stir that until it is combined did I put too much honey in it I don't know now I could very easily see that if I, by putting honey in it, that will make it a bit sticky, but that's okay. Again, the flaxseed gel in and of itself is not sticky. So I'm going to combine this and then I'm gonna put this into a squirt bottle not a what do you call it not a spray bottle but a squirt bottle and we're gonna go ahead and get our hair done so let's go ahead and wash and retwist using our flaxseed gel mixture and now that I've made a big old gigantic mess and this is really like it's jelly but it is it wipes and rinses really nice and clean and quickly so that's cool anywho um, I'm gonna go put this in a squirt bottle and I'll be back <laughs> 